I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design, and it's uh, 3.02 in the afternoon. All done building for the day. I, this morning I built M5s and M stove carry cases. Three M5s. That's not that many M5s, but they're really labor intensive, so it's just a, a good build. Three of them. <laughs> That's right, three. Okay, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you all I know about the M1. And then on the next video I'll do the M2 and the M3. And I'll try to name these videos M1, M2, M3 so they'll be easier to find. Uh, maybe I should call them M M1 Review. And if you just typed into the uh, Mini Bowl Design uh, YouTube library, uh, M1 Review should come up. We'll see. Okay, this is the Mini Bowl Design M1. Now I want to try to um, get all the differences between this and the other stoves, which will become apparent as we go along, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. But basically, this is my lowest heat stove of any stove I sell. It could be used for a primary stove if you were an ultralight backpacker and you were only using a small pot like a I'm used to 10 centimeter, a Snow Peak 600, something like that. Basically, just boiling water for meals. Uh, that that's where it probably was shy. Now this is my only top feed stove. All the rest of them are bottom feed. Uh, being a top feed, you get some advantage depending on how tight you've got your wick of the alcohol actually pooling in the bottom of the stove, and when you let off on the bottle it doesn't pull any back. I found that to be not that significant but it does make a small difference. And the reason why I did it on this one is because I could because the wick is is small and doesn't have a donut on the top. It's just a center wick and it doesn't uh, send my sheet out to that tube so you can get away with it quite nicely. Uh, now this just has a center wick. It doesn't have any donut. Uh, very easy stove to change the wick on or or just generally to maintain. I say that and then I can't get the wick back in. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and it has a couple of little burn rings out here so if the alcohol fills up you'll see it go out into each ring and you can stop before you run over the edge. Although if you run over the edge it won't really cause any harm. Uh, it has a silicone heat block that stops the heat from the top getting down into the bottom and boiling the fuel. Now some people use this uh, to like bake or simmer. If you're going to do a lot of baking, then my experience with most of the small ovens, say you were going to dry bake with a 12 centimeter IMUSA with a 10 centimeter inside or with a uh, titanium uh, MSI Titan kettle or a Snow Peak 900 kettle, uh, with with a disc inside to bake. This is probably the best way to go because it is low heat and if you just fuel it and, and don't crowd it at all, just get in just enough fuel in it to get a good blue flame going. It, it worked quite well to bake with. I think uh, Water Monkey uses this as his prime or did, did use this as his primary stove for a long time. Um, and that's about all there is to say about it. It comes without a nipple cap because I'm trying to keep the price down on this stove and most of my customers already have a nipple cap. If you don't, uh, they sell in the store for $10 so you'd have to have a nipple cap. And like all the M stoves except the 5 and the 6, you could have something for a pot stand. And this stove is very tolerant of pot stand. You could use a little 4x18, uh, I mean 4x12 or 5x18 or 5x23, any of the pot stands will work just fine. Or you can just put three rocks in the ground and set it on the three rocks. Uh, it'll all work. This is a pretty frugal stove. It doesn't burn a lot of alcohol. And you could probably boil two cups of water with this if you want to take your time on just a hair over a half an ounce. Uh, the wick should be loose in it. It shouldn't be tight. should be able to spin the wick around. If it's, the wick is too tight, it restricts how much alcohol it can take and you'll have to fuel it more often. Runs on a regular... A bottle where you just squeeze it to fuel it every time it starts to burn back. 
And like all the carbon fuel stoves, you'll know when it's starting to get low on fuel because the outside of the wick will, will burn bright orange. And that's about all there is to say about this stove. It's, uh, like I said, my, my lowest heat stove and uh, the stove that some people carry as their primary stove. And the biggest difference between it and the next one up is it doesn't have a donut wick, so you can't get the really high heat with it. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for review on the M1. I'm not going to announce the bid on the uh, Elite 42 uh, until later this evening, and I'll, I'll do the next stove at the same time. And I'll, I'm trying to uh, have those videos just for the bid and just name them the number of the item so that people that, that are offended by this bidding uh, can just see if it says, if the name of the video is item 4243, that's basically just going to be a bid video and just don't watch it. I know some people like to complain anyway, uh, even after I do that, but in reality, for the rest of us, if you don't want to see a bid video, don't watch the ones that have just the numbers on them. Okay, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try and take a little time out today to have some fun. I don't know, play with an alcohol stove, maybe uh, cook your dinner on one, or, or heat your coffee up this afternoon on one, if you're in the environment where you can do that, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.